Hey guys, Katie Taylor here, and I am joining the creative design team for January 2024's collab. It's our first collab of the year, and we are kicking it off with organizational tips for your craft room. In this video, I'm going to be discussing specifically embellishments and giving you three easy storage solutions if your embellishments are out of hand, much like mine used to be. So there are three different storage solutions that I have come to realize that work best for me. Now, one thing you do need to do before you start any organizing is you need to know, number one, your budget, and you need to know how your brain works. Believe it or not, if you do not think in compartmentalized ways, then organization in those manners, they're just not going to work for you. And that is like me. If you saw my craft room tour before, you know that it's just not nice, neat, everything doesn't have its place like you would see in other craft rooms. But in my craft room, it makes sense for me and that's what it should do for you as well. I've tried many organization methods over the years and three have seemed to work for me the longest. Now they are the most recent that I've tried and I'm going to share them with you. Now, one thing about organization is it is meant to save you time as well as organize whatever it is you're organizing. Brendan Burchard is big on the value of your time. Now, this can be if you are a professional or it can be if you are a busy mom. I work outside the home. We have two kids still in the house, but we are very busy people. And so when I sit down to craft or create, I need to know exactly where my tools are, my embellishments, my paper, so on and so forth. Organizing those in a manner that works for me helps me do that in a small window of time. So another thing that everyone knows about organization is organization can get expensive, but that does not mean it can't be affordable. This first storage solution I'm going to share with you is actually meant for photo organization. Now I've been using these photo organizational bins from Michaels um, for a while now. And you can see that the original price is almost $42. And they are on sale, of course, because it's right after Christmas and they know that people are wanting to organize their lives. So you could pick one up for $14.99. I did so. I put one in my cart and I brought it home and I'm going to unpack it for you today. So another storage solution, again, the same photo organization solution is from close to my heart. So you can see here, I am opening it fresh from the box. I recently received this with my close to my heart cash, which is the equivalent of what VIPs get when they shop. So you could actually get this for free or at a reduced rate. Now here I am opening it and I am turning on the sound for this because I want you to hear the closure on the quality of this one from close to my heart. You still get the same 16 bins. And then here is the one that I purchased from Michaels. So they appear to be the same. Now Close to My Hearts does have an embossed lid. I love that. The regular one does not. Now this one is a different brand than Michaels usually carries. And I'm turning the sound on for this because I want you to hear just how difficult it is to get these snapped into place. Now, a couple of them, I even had trouble closing them. They don't close very well. It's kind of hit or miss. You know, some do, some don't. Again, it's all about quality. Now, I did get this on sale, like you saw, but had it not been the 60% off sale, I would have paid $42, maybe a little less if I had rewards for my big box store. And here are some that I purchased off of Amazon. They look a whole lot like the same ones from Michaels. Again, you just kind of hit and miss whether they're actually going to close or not. Now, I did want to show you how these actually are intended to use. Um, I do use them for my photos as well. And then I just use my label maker to label the year and the occasion or the child. And then they fit just really nicely into this photo storage box. I have one for each child um, because that's how I scrapbook. 
Now these are from TeamU. Now that is a um, topic of contention amongst some people, but these are actually really high quality. The only thing I don't like is they do not come with a container. Now I can use these clear storage containers that are meant for fridges, but if you saw my craft room, you know that I don't have a lot of shelf space. So I need things that I can stack and the close to my heart ones stack perfectly. Now here is a look at how those are used. I have my twine, um, some ribbon, baker's twine, as well as some stickers over here on the right. And all are labeled with my label maker, which makes it really easy for me to know what I want, pull that out and get it done. So the next organizational solution I have for you is the small organizer from Close to My Heart. Now I use these for paper collections as well as the embellishments I'm about to show you here. The wonderful thing about these is they come with little compartments. You can see here that those are left in. So you have four compartments if you use these. Four compartments. And you'll see here that I have decided to anything that comes on an acetate sheet. So dots, um, glitter gems, a long time ago we had sequins, individual sequins that came on these sheets. I store these in this. And then this very last compartment I actually use for those larger stickers or those larger embellishment sheets. You can see here the hearts from Love Notes, which is a current special. And by using this small organizer, I'm able to actually fit a ton in here. You can see that. Now, if you don't like this and you want to continue to use that photo organizer, here's how you could do that. You could just organize it by colors or by shapes or whatever, however your mind works. I, I know that my mind works in what I want. So if I'm working on a card or a layout and I want a glitter gem, my mind is immediately going to go to glitter gems. And that's why I have these sorted in dots, sparkles, glitter gems, sequins, so on and so forth. If your mind works in color, then you might want to sort these by color. Now, the third and final solution, I use the word final um, loosely because there are just tons of organization tools out there for you. But the third and final that has worked for me for years are these little bead organizers. Now, if you watch my videos here on YouTube, my process videos, you'll see me pull these out a lot. Um, I love these. I get these on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below. I love these because they are adjustable. They're affordable. You get two in a package and you can adjust these little compartments to be as small or as large as you need them to be. Now, depending on what you're organizing, um, my alphabet, I have all the A's together, all the B's, C's, one, two, threes, all of that. If I'm organizing shapes, I may have one that has only circles, maybe one that has only stars. And then because I am a close to my heart maker, sometimes it makes sense for me to organize these by collection. So I have these labeled by the collection that they go in. A lot of times it's because I'm working with that collection in my personal scrapbooking or maybe a card. It's really easy for me to pull these out, read the label on the outside, and I know which collection to go to. Now the other way to do it, like in these titles, these brand new acrylic titles that we have, is I am going to sort these out by title. So all my lives are going to go together, all my memories, all my days, and it's just going to make it a little bit easier than the method that I was using before. Now these are for the loose pieces, mainly acrylic and wood. Now some of our new die cut shapes actually come in the sheets. I know me and I prefer to look at those as a whole. So on these new word strips, I know that I am going to prefer to pull out the six by 12 sheet of paperboard and view what size and what 
design I'm going to want and pull that out to use on my card or layout. I've also done this with collections that have maybe the little um, insert in them that shows you everything that comes in it. I've also done it with shapes. Anything that are on these new paperboard where they will stay intact for the most part if they're in this envelope, I keep those behind me with these little bins, these little bead sorters with my individual acrylic and wood shapes. It makes it really easy. Again, if I am sitting at my desk, the thing I want is I want to be able to grab these embellishments as soon as I can to use in my project. The last thing I wanna do is get up, walk somewhere around the corner, dig through something else and find it. By having it all right here, I'm able to just look behind me, open up the drawer and pull it out. So now, let's take a look under my desk and that is where you're going to find that small organizer full of embellishments. I also have my adhesive as well as some other paper collections and then that photo organizer with all my thread and stickers. Well that's it for organizing your embellishments in three simple storage solutions. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that this is a collab, so you will find the previous videos from this week in the CD playlist. And then we still have Chelsea and Andrea who will be posting Sunday and Monday, sharing with you their organizational tips. I hope you've learned something today or you were inspired. Please let me know in the comments what you want to implement in your craft room, or maybe if you have something that was not mentioned here for your embellishments. Thanks and have a wonderful rest of your weekend.